Hey there, so I'm gonna try this new format and experience for me. I didn't really plan to do it while I was walking, but I thought of this idea for a video on my way home and then it's a beautiful day out and I need to get my walk in and I was walking and thinking about it. So what I wanted to talk about is transforming negative relationship energy. So, I'm sorry if this is bouncy, I hope it's not too bad. Um, I've had a lot of coaching clients recently who have had breakups and they've had guys to get over and move on, you know, and try to do better and really find the one next time. And so of course, I'm helping them with plans and strategies on how to do that. I really make sure the next one is the last one and the right one, right? That's the goal, obviously, for everyone. But um, there's this component, this common component that I'm finding that it's like super painful and lots of heartache go along with this process. And lots of second guessing and going back and forth and wondering if I did the right thing. You know, should I have really broken up with him or could things have worked if I had done things differently? And this is like a hard, it's a hard thing to contemplate because what happens is you, you find, you, you have all these negatives and there's neighbors around, so <laughs> keeping my voice down. Um, obviously there's a lot of negatives in the relationship. Whoops, sorry dog. And so you know you don't want to be in the relationship as it was, but as you look back and identify where things went wrong, you're also noticing lots of things that you could have done differently and that you want to do differently going forward. Sorry, I just don't like my hair like this. <laughs> I'm always trying to get this like ponytail the way I want it and it never, never works out that way. <laughs> um, <laughs> so where was I? Okay, so yes, of course you're going to want to do a post-mortem of the relationship and where you could have done things better. It's just part of taking responsibility, right? Um, so that's a good thing. I should definitely be doing that. But it's also very painful. Oh, I hope I wasn't covering the mic uh, with my finger. <laughs> um, it's just very painful to wonder what if. What if I had done things the way I intend to do them going forward? And what would have happened? And you can't know when you've already break, broken off the relationship and decided to move on. Unless, you know, you get back into dating again, into the relationship again, which is very difficult. and very improbable and unlikely and I don't want to discourage anyone from leaving a bad relationship certainly um, there's so many times where that needs to happen but when you are actually in the relationship and not knowing and going back and forth um, I I know you just you just um, aren't sure for a long time. Maybe come clear and you may be sure at some point down the road, but when you're in it, it's so hard to know if you should just be changing things or if you should actually leave. So like I said, I don't wanna discourage anyone from leaving a bad relationship if that's what they feel is right. 
but this video is this message is for women who are in a relationship and they're not sure they're not really 100% understanding whether whether it can be saved and for the most part I would want to speak to married women about preserving their marriage you know because you've taken a vow and that's kind of what marriage is about is making it through hard times and not giving up or turning back because you promised you wouldn't you know dating and living together is very different than that but so all that to say <laughs> if you're in that situation and you want to know whether you should work on it or whether you should leave I wanted to present a solution because I see the aftermath and how painful it is and how difficult it is so I want to provide a solution for making that decision much 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 easier and really unnecessary like going up a steep hill nine times out of ten maybe even more than that I think we don't even need to make a decision we just need to be in touch with the truth and the decision will become irrelevant things will fall into place you know what I mean so so what I would like to prescribe is a solution that works regardless of whether the man is the right man or whether the relationship is the right relationship whether it continues or whether it ends your actions should be the same right wouldn't that make it so much easier if you didn't have a decision to make you just needed to act in a way that felt true to you and the decision would become irrelevant at least I love this approach I love to know that the course I'm taking is right regardless of surrounding factors and circumstances outside my control I'm just gonna control myself and do what I feel is right and it'll work out right so that's the solution I want to offer to women who aren't sure whether they should leave a relationship that is bad so transforming transforming the negative relationship energy regardless of whether it's going to end or it's going to last forever same actions are needed and that is to act as if you were single act as if you didn't have this relationship to consider act as if you had already left and you were already starting over what would you do what would you do what would you do if you were single just put yourself there mentally what would I do and this can work even if you're not considering leaving a relationship honestly if you're married and you don't want to get divorced that's like the last thing you want to do hopefully it is the last thing you want to do regardless of how bad things are hopefully that's the last thing you want to do because it's just a million reasons right especially if kids are involved but a million reasons even if they aren't involved it's really hard to start over right but what would you do so what I would propose you would do is you would nurture yourself you would get in touch with your own needs do some meditating if that feels right you would get some exercise maybe you would want to look better right if you're single 
maybe you would want to take more care of your appearance because you're going to be out on the market soon. Or maybe you're not going to be on the market. Maybe you just want to make your ex, ex jealous and or you know it's just in your heart okay you want to do what's right for you regardless of what he thinks hopefully <laughs> hopefully if you actually were you know divorced or starting over that you wouldn't care to make him jealous but sometimes sometimes that's the kind of motivation that works right I'm sorry so that's what I would propose you want to transform negative relationship energy nurture yourself get in touch with your own spirit uncover your own joys what makes you happy what what makes you happy is what you need to do more of right what makes you feel good what makes you feel beautiful getting exercise getting fresh air getting Sun even if it involves a tan, I'm not one that um, that is scared of the sun. I believe it's very healing. Vitamin D, we all need it. It's super, super, super important. So maybe you have some health issues that you need to take care of if you're starting over, right? Maybe you're gonna go to the doctor. Maybe you're gonna spend some money on yourself if you're starting over. Right? If you put yourself in that place mentally and you think, oh, I'm finally free of this negative relationship. I can finally go shopping without guilt. Maybe that's what you need to do. I can finally fill in the blank. I can finally join the gym because, you know, my husband thinks that I shouldn't spend money on myself. Um, or I just feel guilty about it because the kids need something or whatever the situation is. Maybe you need to eat better. Come on, come on. So those are my thoughts so far. I'm going to pause here and I might add more, but I gotta walk by some neighbors. So I'll talk to you later.